Welcome back. Now, there's one area here that doesn't serve too much of a purpose, but it can still kill you. Look at all these mushrooms. Don't they look a little bit innocent? Until... You get too close to them. They eat you. <laughs> and they smile. Holy jeez, boy, that mushroom thing sucked you clean up. You can't move a muscle nor see a speck of light. You begin feeling waves of tingling, warmth and moisture. Suddenly, it's not so bad in here. Wow, check out the colors, dude. Your body and mind enjoy the short-lived buzz as a side effect of the lethal poison you now marinate in. You're oblivious to the end. Not a bad way to go, actually. But it sure is early in the game. I had high hopes for you. They said, who? Him? Not a chance. That chump won't last 20 minutes. I said, no way. He isn't that lame. So anyway, don't make me look stupid, too. And, obviously, that music means that you die. So, what do we gotta do now? Hmm. Well, standing here, we're not really safe. Suddenly, from somewhere to the east, you hear a twang, followed by a high-pitched shriek. Hmm. Gotta be careful. Gotta be in hiding. Because... Another hovercraft is going to come by. Question is, when it will come? You hear something. It sounds not unlike the hovercraft you wrecked in. Here it comes, soon. As long as you hide, he won't shoot. Whew! That was a tense moment. Bohal's thug failed to spot you and is off to search elsewhere. Now, let's check over here. To the right. Hmm. Okay. That must have been the twang that we heard. Surprised we didn't hear a shriek from that. I guess we can go ahead and untie the rope. See what happens. Okay. Before disappearing through a tiny hole in the brush, the little creature gives you a long glance. Okay. So, go ahead and save. I'm presuming he's going to consider me to be a hero. Now... Hmm, what's up this tree? Climb tree. This is as uncool as uncool can be. Looks like you've adhered yourself to this tree like a fly to flypaper, and speaking of insects, here comes a swarm now. <clears throat> wow. Whoa! You'll be proud to know that you've filled today's nutritional requirements for many of the local carnivorous insects. Adventuring is not always pretty. Definitely not, especially if there's going to be a skeleton right there. Anyway, we're back to where the creature has been untied. Let's go up here. If we were to go up here before, I believe we wouldn't really be fast enough. We would get shot out. So, the foliage here is much too dense for you to pass through. Hmm. Okay. So, what do I have? And press tab to look at the inventory. How about I mail the order form? You drop the order form into the box. Mailbox hums and buzzes for a while, then an object of some sort drops into the tray at the base of the box. The machine goes silent. Okay. Um, uh, look at mailbox. Mailbox looks typical for a mailbox. There's a slot, a tray, and a sign. Look at tray. Tray is actually a small indentation in the lower part of the machine. It is currently bearing what looks like a whistle. Take whistle. Okay. And... We did not die. Thanks to some fancy footwork, you are now picking yourself off the ground after barely surviving a fall down a small cliff. Hey. Careful. Let's go ahead and save. Ooh. You seem to have kicked one of these strange little spores. Suffocating. Your kick caused some spores to open and spray a fine powder into the air. As a result, you are paralyzed from head to toe, unable to move a single muscle. Okay, up. So, we're not dead, but we're stunned for a little while, and it'll be too long for me to continue this as a let's play. So, how about we see if we can take a spore? You take possession of one of the spores, being careful not to mistakenly break it open. Open spore? Don't mess with the spore. Ha. <laughs> 
Now, what do we have over here? We have some danger. And look how narrow this is. I think I'm going to need to set this to normal. Possibly even slow. If we touch any of these walls here, we're as good as dead. See how long I can go without touching a wall. Surprisingly long for now. Quite long. Wow, I'm doing good for a first one. As long as I don't jinx it. If I'm going to make it without dying the first time through this, I'm going to be surprised. Because these walls, they're really, really sensitive. I was thinking I would have to compare this to save state, load state, and a Kaizo Mario hack. Wow, did that without dying. Okay, then. Look, you're in another clearing in the forest. This one seems to be occupied by a type of growth you are not familiar with. Take berries, if those are berries. <clears throat> you snag some of the odoriferous, odoriferous red berries. Eat berries. You get them near your mouth and notice the pungent scent. Wisely, you change your mind. Now, if I get through this without touching a wall once, then I'm going to go ahead and deliberately kill myself demonstrate what happens if you do. Until I get out, any of this wall touching will be an accident. So, carefully make it out. Also notice that maze has a dead end to it. So be careful. Don't want to touch the dead end. Gonna make it. Wow! Doing surprisingly well. Can I do this in one go? I could. Holy. I just did that in one go. To celebrate, I'll deliberately kill myself. Whew. <laughs> Sweeps me up. Also looks like some type of brain that's bubbling. Good. You've succeeded in establishing contact with one of this planet's life forms, and it looks like you'll get to examine it up close and personal. The giant root-looking thing is giving you a guided tour of its digestive system. What you experience next is too horrible to describe. Let's just say that you die as a result. You are dead. Trust me. It may please you to know that during the night you didn't digest well. For a while, gastric distress made it extremely unpopular with the other root monsters. <laughs> Yeah, way to go, wingnut. <laughs> Call that monster the wingnut. It eats me, and then it continues on farting, I suppose. That may be the case. Anyway, out we go. I'm gonna set this back to fast. Let's go ahead and check what fastest is gonna be like. Okay, I can get through a little bit of this. But... I'm gonna go ahead and just set it to regular fast. Until I actually get to the swamp here. Mm. Yuck! Woo. Danger awaits. Let's see. Can we make it? No, we can't! You feel something slimy clamp down on your leg and pull you beneath the surface. You struggle in vain to free yourself. Unfortunately, your desire to breathe results in the intake of a large quantity of swamp water. If the lack of oxygen hadn't killed you, the taste of the putrid water would have. You're dead. Better luck next time. Hooray for another senseless tragedy. So, let's go ahead, do this again. What was that creature doing, by the way? Notice it was picking up berries. Rub berries? You'll have to be more specific. Press F3 to reload a command that you typed before. Rub berries on body. You rub the berries all over your body. You now smell like a walking ammonia inhalant. And it still says, yuck. Yes, the first time you go in, it'll say yuck, but every time afterwards, you'll live. Okay. 
Well, you'll live anyway, but don't have to worry about it saying that over and over. You feel something slimy clamp down on your leg and almost as suddenly spit you back out. You distinctly hear the sounds of aquatic gagging and retching. Evidently, you had a bad aftertaste from the berries. Also notice that his mouth is purple as opposed to red. You've stepped into a deeper area of the swamp. You are forced to swim. So, let's go ahead and save. Let's save here, just in case we can accidentally sink. Dive. Down we go. Controls, the walls are going to be a little bit finicky. You can't go on. You do not have enough oxygen in your lungs. You panic. The need for oxygen causes you to become irrational. Your desire for air causes you to inhale large quantities of water, which results in suffocation. And, obviously, because of that, we die. So, let's go ahead and hold breath. You take a deep breath, filling your lungs to near bursting, and head for the depths below.